magazines. Um, by the way, guys, all these firearms have already been safety checked, so all you safety Nazis out there, just, they're already safety checked. I'm not going to try to show you here with only one hand and the other hand holding my phone here, so. Yeah, so this is it. Um, so far, i got a couple hundred rounds through it. Nice little pistol. Um, as I said, 9mm. Really easy to rack the slide on this because that uh, that piston that's in there kind of set up like the old H and K P sevens. Um, so yeah. Alrighty, so yeah, that's the uh, Walther CCP. As I said, bought this about a year ago. Paid about four hundred bucks for it, brand new, and uh, so far so good. I know a lot of people have complained about you know failure to ejects and failure to feeds and stuff like that. As I said, I have about probably four to five hundred rounds through it. I haven't had any hiccups yet, um, but we'll see. You know, kind of a mix of ammo, but uh, we'll see what goes on down the line. So next up is my Yugo M57. Um, bought this. Going on about six months ago. Um, this is really cool because it's on this one. It's uh, I believe on these it's a nine plus one if I remember correctly. Um, Seven point six two Tokarev, uh, screaming little round. Um, as I said, bought this about six months ago. I uh, got it with my uh, CNR license. Highly suggest if anyone's you know, interested in old military guns, old antique firearms, stuff like that, definitely get your CNR license. It's easily worth it. It's 30 bucks, real easy to get. All the paperwork can be found on the ATF website. And uh, all in all, it's already paid for itself, you know, just with transfer fees alone. Um, got this with the uh, leather holster here and the spare mag um, for 180 bucks. So, heck of a deal, because especially now I see these going on, like, classic firearms and stuff like that for, you know, two twenty, two thirty all the time. So, definitely worth it. So, uh, yeah, that's the Yugo M57. Now, I do have a couple other handguns, too, that uh, I'm not showing in this video just because I don't feel like going upstairs to get them. They're uh, kind of hard to get, too. So, I just don't really want to... Uh, Waste my time trying to dig around and get to them. So, got two handguns left here uh, that are with me right now. Um, both are 22 long rifle. First up, boom. Heritage Rough Rider. 22 long rifle. Um, they do have them in, uh, you can also get the 22 Magnum cylinders and stuff for them. Um, cool little plinker safety on it um so you can actually keep if you want all six rounds loaded up you don't have to keep it like an old single action army with you know an empty chamber um obviously it is single action just fun little plinker gun i mean really it's just fun going out and plinking cans and stuff with it ammo's cheap I have easily a thousand rounds through this thing and Bought this again almost about a year ago, and uh, just a heck of a lot of fun. I think I paid, if I want to remember right, it was like 175 for it, um, which isn't the best deal out there. I know you used to be able to get these for, you know, around 100 bucks. Still usually can on, like, Black Friday specials and stuff like that. I'm probably going to end up actually picking up another one. But usually can, you can find these right around the $100, $200 range, and they're, uh, if you're looking for just 22 plinking gun, a lot of fun. So, last but not least, is my NAA Mini Revolver. Um, five shots, 22 long rifle. I just really bought this thing off of a novelty, from a novelty aspect. I think it's cool. I mean, look how tiny that is. That's tiny. Um, I got small hands, too. But, uh, yeah. Cool little gun. Um... As I said, it's just kind of like a, 
uh, just a fun little range toy. I guess you could carry it as a backup or a backup to a backup. Um, if you were to do that, though, I would definitely recommend getting bigger grips for it, because even though it's 22 long rifle, you can only get, really, and as I said, I have tiny hands, two fingers on there. Most people can only get one finger, so really holding on to that thing. Even though there's really not a lot of recoil, it does want to, you know, fly out of your hand sometimes. Um, which is ridiculous to say, because, you know, I'll go shoot, you know, 44 Magnums and stuff all day long out of my buddy's gun and not have any problems, but this thing, I don't know, just being tiny, it's not, not the most pleasurable thing to shoot, but it's, it's just cool. You whip this out the range, it's just one of those cool little guns. So, uh, when I got this, I think I paid two, I want to say like two fifteen, two twenty for it with the transfer, so, uh, definitely worth it, worth it just for that, you know, super cool aspect. So, uh, yeah. So that's my handgun collection so far. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section. Be happy to answer them. Subscribe if you want to. If not, don't really care. Um, one thing I do want to throw a shout out to is gunchannels.com. If you're not a member, go ahead on over, sign up. It's a really awesome website. Um, basically, you know, same concept kind of along the lines of a Facebook, but for gun people. You know, anyone that's into firearms, Second Amendment, um, freedom. It's just an awesome website. It's free to sign up for. Go over there. They have podcasts. They have shows. They have, you know, question and answer form. You can ask questions. It's just great. And wealth and knowledge over there is unmatched. So, uh, yeah, so that's my shout-out for them. I'll try to put a link for them. Down in the uh, description box there. As I said, this is my first video. So, first time kind of screwing around with the YouTube. But, uh, yeah. Second video with my long guns coming soon.